got my beer hat on. So what happens to you if you are doing really well, but uh, in your path come some people who aren't doing well? What happens if you come across people who are unable to love themselves? Because I've been just following some of these spiritual teachings. You know, you just find some spiritual teacher who's on Instagram and they got a whole pile of these slides that you can look at. So I spun through. And uh, what I got was there are people who have come into my life who don't love themselves. And uh, what happens is they express their lack of love for themselves as a lack, lack of love for me. And then it said, well, basically ignore these people. And um, I can't. Because these people come to me every day. Uh, and they're not physical people. They're unknown people. They're people who... Um, you might as well say they are using psychic means to um, interfere with my day. If they were physical people, you could distance yourself from them. But when there are no real good ways of telling you anything about these people other than uh, you wake up and they're there, not in the physical, but they're there. It's never easy to tell you. You can't distance yourself from them. But, you know, after spinning through the spiritual teachings, the reason why they're so much the way they are is because they don't love themselves. So it's a huge issue because they are never going to love themselves because they're not getting any feedback. If they're in a physical world, people would distance themselves. They would basically avoid these toxic people. But non-physical people... Um, how do you distance yourself from something that's not, you know, something you can push on? The answer is, um, I'm still waiting for a spiritual teacher who can um, figure this one out. I don't know. I mean, there's so many of these spiritual slides on Instagram. I've got a lot of people that have got all these slides on them. And they put, they put it out there like these are spiritual truths. They're not. They are not spiritual truths. Spiritual truth is... I experience non-physical people who are toxic. And clearly, if what this person is saying is true, the slide says, people are mean to you because they don't love themselves. Another one was, the people can only meet you at the level of their consciousness. So you have to be um, eternally patient, waiting for them to learn to love themselves, which means they're not going to need 
to bully you. Uh, I don't have anything else to tell you other than if you are someone who is feeling like in the physical there are people who really don't treat you well, then you can follow general advice. But if you're never going to experience non-physical people, then, you know, I wouldn't worry about my video. But if you do experience non-physical people, then it's going to be a concern for you because you may well run into toxic non-physical people. Invisible people. And then you might talk to some people about it and they might say, well, you've got schizophrenia. It's pretty much accepted in Aboriginal communities that there are people who can talk to spirits. In Western countries, it's pretty much dismissed as schizophrenia if you are able to communicate with non-physical. What does it mean? It means that Western science is highly deficient and um, Western humans are pretty much Well, there's no real words I can give you other than Western humans pretty much don't want to go there. Western humans pretty much want uh, people who speak to spirits to uh, start taking pharmaceutical drugs. Western people are pretty much never-ending problems with Western people. Western people are pretty much really toxic people. We call them Western because, you know, all of the culture comes from originally Europe. And now it's highly centered in not only Europe, but pretty much worldwide. Is there anything Eastern anymore? I don't think so. You know, the great countries of the East, like China and India, have pretty much um, adopted Western ways. And Aboriginal people pretty much have adopted Western ways. So we have what's known as a monoculture, one culture on planet Earth. It's Western. Uh, it doesn't believe in 
communication with spirits. It doesn't believe that uh, people can do things They just don't believe. So, you know, if you can do things that they just go and they look and they say, you got to start taking pills because Westerners believe there's a pill for everything. And if that doesn't work, then you got to go and um, find a bottle of whiskey. You got to find marijuana. You got to get um, street drugs. Because Westerners believe in drugs, drugs for everything. It's really crazy because um, Westerners believe that if there's a bad economy, um, you should go get pills because you're not feeling well, because there's um, a bad economy and you got no money, you got no house, you need to go um, to a clinic and see a doctor and get on antidepressants. Westerners, um, that's how they treat everything. You got to take a pill. They never want to really look at the state of the economy and the capitalist system and the great disparities between rich and poor. They think they can fix the economy by, you know, popping your daily dose of depressants. Westerners are about the stupidest people in the galaxy. And that's planet Earth. I should just rename it planet Western. Um, my guy here is um, down to Fiesta. I forgot about this shirt. It's, um, you know, it's the Cinco de Mayo party day, 5th of May. Well, it's the 10th of May. I forgot to put this shirt, so I would be down to Fiesta today. I don't know what else to tell you about um, spiritual teachings that uh, don't bring up spirits. Seems like we've got a really big hole in our knowledge base. Uh, if you want to see spirits, oh, they could probably tell you, well, you'll find a street drug, you know, because quite often you can hallucinate if you take things like LSD or magic mushrooms. Some people hallucinate or have blackouts when they drink too much booze. Not too many people think, you know, if you're a sober person that you might experience psychic phenomenon. But usually if you give those people a few glasses of wine and they're at a party and you corner them at a party, and you say, well, tell me about some of your ghost stories, you know, what kind of psychic things happen to you? You know, did you ever have, meet a succubus or an incubus? You know, those... You're having a dream and there's like beings that want to have sex with you in your dream. Did you ever wake up and you couldn't breathe? Did you ever see things that shouldn't really be there? Thanks for watching. Come in tomorrow. I'll have something else to tell you.